we pray as a community. We pray around the compound, calling our Mother Mary's intercession, sprinkle holy water. And with that, there is this belief that our Mother Mary is always covering us with her mantle. And in spite of all this, since we, we attend morning masses every day, we never for one day out of fear and stop going to mass. We, we continue to do that. And you know, with the press, when the parishioners see us, they are encouraged. So um, even though nothing, um, these bandits have not entered at any of our communities, except the one in Funtua, when they came to the sisters in the night between, I think this thing happened between 12.30 1 a.m. The sisters were asleep when they came in through the, one of the windows and the one of them opened the central door for the, the, the rest. They entered, no sister was touched, though they made away with things. But I thank God for the lives of my sisters. They always have their phone on so that in, in case of anything, once I call them, we, we know the, um, we, know, we know what to do or how to take care of ourselves or where to run to or where to hide. I remember when I got home to see my people, they were kind of, ah, sister, how are you people managing there? How are you, do you go out? Do you go to mass? I said, of course we do that. Once we pray, uh, we put God first in everything we do and we move on and God has been so faithful. Our faith is strengthened and I believe that um, all these things is a work of prayer. Not that other places that it has happened that they weren't praying, they weren't praying, but I believe that this is really sustaining us a lot. Uh, even though uh, when this thing was too much, not that it had died completely, at the time we found it difficult to sleep. We keep praying, hoping that one day all these things will come to an end.